How do your husband feel about this? He loves it. Why? Because, um, how can I say this? My husband come from a different background. We already know. We ain't got to get into it. Mm -hmm. So when I started tapping into my gift, making this kind of money, I went and got him and said, you don't have to do that anymore. I'm going to show you a different lifestyle. I know he loves it. Because <laughs> he probably wanted to. Because he don't never want to do did. that. Like, he was like, yo, like you don't know how you just changed my life because that's all I knew. Like, yeah. He didn't graduate either. So he come from a harsh background. So to see somebody like me that's willing to, hey, come in the rooms I'm coming in. Now he has a whole different mindset. What type of business he want to start now. So I'm trying to help him come up with his skills so he can start his own subscription-based program. You know, it's, I ask that because usually men, like we have this workaholic way about us, right? And yeah. the fact that you're like, yo, I could do this for three weeks, I'll make this, and then I'm chilling. Yeah. And I'm just thinking as a man, like, in my mind, I'm like, you can't chill, right? Yeah. Like, you can't chill. Like, yeah. I don't even know no other way. Yeah. So that's why I was wondering, like, I wonder, is he, like, being able to relax too, or? He is now, still, like, like he came from that hustler mentality, but when he seen that it was working for me and not just, like, temporarily, but no, this. It's going on years, and she's still doing this kind of money plus more. Like, okay, what can I do to support you? What can I do to help you? So I'm like, I want to start a family. I already have a family, but I want to start over because when I had my kids back when I was 18, I had two kids before 18, I couldn't provide them the lifestyle that I could provide now. So my goal for him was when we get back together, I want you to give me a family. And Wait, when we get back together, what you mean? Oh, I didn't tell you. So we got married in 05. Uh-huh. And then we divorced in 2017 because he had that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. But then I came back and got him in 2021. I came back and got him. I did. Because I'm like, look, I want my I want my husband back. Like, I'm tapping into all this money. Everybody I'm meeting is after what I got. I don't trust nobody. But you've been with me when I have nothing. When I barely, I was sleeping in the car, like, literally. So you deserve to have me at my best because you were with me in my words. So let me come back, show you this lifestyle, and see what you want to do. And he been stuck ever since. <laughs> okay. God damn. This shit, it's get <laughs> like the the crafting part is cool, it's dope, <laughs> but it just keep getting better. Okay. As a woman though, right? Like, how was it managing a relationship being a breadwinner though? I've always been around that. My mom, my aunts, I don't know. I think it's just like a generational thing. Like, I've never seen in our household where a man made more money than any of my mom or my aunts. Like, they always been the breadwinner. Yeah, definitely. Where you like, from? I'm from McCray, Georgia. I'm trying to figure out, like, where are you at? <laughs> it's the <a> cut. <laughs> like, going on? Like, like, for real? Like, yeah, like, yeah. we from a small country town, so it ain't really a lot of jobs down there, but you know what says women, yeah. we gonna make a way out of nowhere. So, yeah, from where I come from, most women is doing more than a man, so... You know, you might got house dads. They the one that's cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. And then the woman is the one that's, it's 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 not your traditional relationship. So it's like, yo, we're going to do what works. We're not going to do what everybody else is so doing. So another bothers you? Mm -mm. Hold up. Even with the introduction of Instagram. What? What about it? It never bothers you. Because you know Instagram came around and then everybody is just... Is 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 it's no 50-50. Man is doing everything. I stay at home. I don't do nothing. I'm not our situation, like I don't compare my situation to social media because we already know that's a flip. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at it like even with the Instagram girls, the BBL, I don't worry about that. I look at my relationship sometimes like business. Mm. People shop my products because of me. When it comes to my relationship, my man gonna be with me because of me. No matter what else somebody else is offering. Ain't nobody is another me. So that's what I don't worry about ever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I know what I offer. <laughs> I know what I bring to the table. You ain't going to find nobody else out there doing it like me. I promise you. But no, I'm saying vice versa. Right now, I, we see women on Instagram like, man, my man pay for everything. He do this, he do mm. that. You never was like tempted to like, I want that. I wish a nigga paid to care of me. No, because I feel like when when men take care of you, they, they kind of control you. So it's kind of like, oh, wait a minute. Now he want to know where I'm at, what I'm doing. I don't feel like it's that way with women. If women is doing for men, it's just like, look, respect me, be there for me, support me mentally, emotionally. I ain't finna care about what you got going on. As long as you come to the house at a decent time, like, we not on you. But men, just from experience, if they taking care of you, they want to know what, when, why, how, where, who, all of that. Oh, what are you spending this on? What are you, like, yeah. I've never been in this situation, but I've heard really? people. 
What? Really what? Just like for a woman, a woman doing... You saying you never been in a situation to where a woman... You always doing for the woman? Oh, yeah, for sure. But oh. I think that's me. I think I got a disorder. I need to go back to therapy. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I got problems. Like, I don't know. Like, it's a Superman complex. I, I need to get rid of that uh, shit. Like, uh, hey, well, at least you know. It, no, we need to do some action now. Like, <laughs> knowing it's the, it's the beginning. Like, we need some action behind it. But anyway. Yeah. I, I was saying, like, usually I hear people say, woman, not people, say, um, like, men get intimidated if a woman is, like, the breadwinner. Win and they start uh, lashing out just... Uh, I don't know the exact word, but um, projecting, mm. right? Like, so now they're mean or they're acting away because they want to be in a position that their woman is in. And I went through that. I went through that a few times before I went back and got my husband because I'm like, I never went through that with him. Okay. So it's got like, it. before I went back and got him, when we got divorced, I did try to date. But trying to date in a position I'm in, men looking like, wait. Oh, you did a hundred thousand dollar lunch in an hour. I didn't do it. That ain't my money. So, mm. and it felt like I couldn't even share my wins with this person because I'm gonna feel like, oh, I'm a, I'm a lower him or make him feel lower or make him feel less of a man. So it got to the point where I was holding in my wins, and I can only talk about it in these rooms that I'm getting in. But when I go home, I can't even mention how my day has been good or what happened today because he wasn't doing it. Mm. And that's when I knew, like, no, I'm not gonna dumb myself down. Let me go back and get my man. Because mm. he don't mind me sharing my wins. He's going to be like, oh, okay. What are we going to do to get like get to the next bag? It's it's never been like that. So I went back and got my bag. Yeah, you said um, something that was interesting. As long as you be there to support me. Um, mentally, mentally, emotionally. Emotionally. How does a man support, not even just a woman that's, doing, that's super successful, but just a woman in general, emotionally, when we think so logically? Like how, how do we show up for you emotionally? Like, I like to talk a lot. I like to vent a lot. I go through a lot of stuff in business. So he listens to me. He tells me what I should do. Like, especially with me going through. So in the crafting industry, there's no other crafter that I know of doing this at this level. So I started losing friends. I believe friends. you, because there ain't no other crafters that I think I know in general. Doing it. <laughs> 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 okay, my bad. But. Right, so I'm losing friends. I'm, like, going through therapy. It's just so much. And he just always been there, like, I can cry on him. He'll be like, yo, don't worry. Like, just being that shoulder to lean on, because it's hard out here for some. Like, you, you know, like, in this industry as an entrepreneur, when you get to a certain level, you can't confide in everybody, because everybody's going to start feeling like you bragging. Or, oh, my gosh. She always talking about her wins, but with him, it wasn't nothing like that. So just giving me that shoulder to lean on is just, you know, like even when I meet people, he has more of a um, discernment eye than me. I'm mm. friendly. Like, hey. He be like, oh, watch that one. Mm. So he sees stuff that I don't see in the background because I'm just so used to networking and mingling. But he'll be like, watch that one. And everybody he tell me to watch, literally, whether it's a month, a year later, they do something to be like, how did I not catch that? This shit about to be two hours. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. We're going to get back to the craft, and I promise in the okay. business court, everything. We can't just skip through that. How did that start, though? Because if you're friendly, right, and you yeah. got discernment, uh, right, you're just, we have a, because I'm friendly, we have a tendency of seeing everybody how we are. Right. Right, so I'm not assuming that you're going to be petty or whatever the case mm. may be, right? I'm not assuming that. Right. So if somebody comes to me and be like, yo, watch out for them, my first my, my first thought is kind of rejection because it's like, why are of you course, thinking that? Of course. So how was how did that start and how did that, I guess, um matriculate to the point of you trusting that discernment and not rejecting it? After it happened so many times. So I'll say about the third time that he told me about this, these different people, I'm like, okay, I need to bring you with me. Cause everybody you see, you're gonna let me know. Like he just got that eye. But for me, um, when I got into the crafting business and I started coaching. Like I told you before, I started bringing people in my community up with me because I'm like, yo, you've never coached, so let me train you how to be a coach. But instead of them coming up with me to be a coach in their lane, hey, I'm bringing you up to teach Photoshop. I'm bringing you up to teach Shopify. Not what I teach. Now they coming up and seeing what I'm making. Now I'm finna overpower you. I want to step on your toes. I want to be a you. Mm. So I'm finna go behind your back and create the same program you got. And now I'm finna come in your group and try to steal your people. Mm. And now if we don't work out, I'm finna go on Instagram and YouTube bashing your name. Even though I've been up under you, you don't help me make 20, 30, 40,000. But since I haven't gotten to your level and I couldn't be a you, I'm finna bash you. And everybody that did that, he said they was gonna do it. He said, watch out for that one. Pause. Um, I think... You know, oh, my bro. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I no, don't know how long one. that was, but <laughs> damn, I should have been saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, like, people just, We might can edit it to where, I don't know. 
Ain't no editing a video. We can cross. <laughs> we can cross. We can. We can go back. <laughs> Whatever. All okay. right. So, um, let's go back. All right. That it, I always say the same thing. Like, I, I don't ever want nobody that's worked with me that it's gonna sound crazy that want to be on camera a little bit. I say that because I think we all can be Jordan. Right. Like, if you want to be a cameraman. You could be Michael Jordan that being a cameraman. I don't want to be a cameraman. That's true. Like, if you want to be a producer or a light engine, whatever, I don't want to be that. That's true. I just want to be talent. That's I true. I can teach you how to help you do that, but I don't want to be it. So I would never get jealous of you. I'm never going to want your spot. If, and if you love what you do, you're never going to want my spot. You're yeah. never going to get jealous of me. And I think that's the perfect team. I don't know where it happens where, like, you build these teams and they start wanting to do one thing. Because and then, they're Michael Jordan at whatever they're good at ain't making the money your Michael Jordan is. And if their goal is, I'm trying to get to your level, but you got me working behind the camera and doing all these little tidbits, but you the talent and you get to this level, you getting cars, houses, you getting these friends. I want to be a you. But so, you can though, like, nigga, you t start a master <laughs> class of how to be a cameraman. <laughs> you, like, you, you can start a master class of how to be a cameraman. You could tell people what cameras to get. You could, like, you could do the same thing. I wish it was that easy. It's not. No. Why I've you been through so? it. I, I literally been through it. Because then they would, so like, from my experience, they would start their program that's exactly like mine. And they might even sell it for cheaper. But then they don't know how I run my back end. So they don't know that I'm running advertisement, pay ads, emails, doing SMS, going live. They looking at it from the front end like, oh, she just started a class and I'm finna just post it on social media and make money. But then when they see why it's not working as fast as hers, not even knowing she been in the game over four years, I just started 30 days ago. Why? And that's where the jealousy come in at. Because they like want to get there overnight. Mm -hmm. And here you are enjoying all the fruits of your label. Why I got to wait four years? Don't you supposed to help me get there faster? <laughs> do, do Ain't it your job to help me get there faster? Do you know how powerful you are? Yes, of course. That's curious. I, it's funny we just having this conversation. And like, in my mind, like I overlook those things because for me, like I do this, not trying to brag, I swear. Now I could do all this shit with my eyes closed by myself, yeah. respectfully, right? Yeah. I love my team, like respectfully, right? And... <laughs> I was working with somebody and like it's getting frustrating because I gotta keep telling them how to do it, which way to do it, how, why to do it. Like, and it's frustrating because like, bro, just get it. And I was just telling them, my guy, I'm like, I need this because it shows me how to teach, mm. right? One. And then two, it shows me how valuable or how important what I'm doing is. Because yeah. sometimes I overlook myself because I, I don't, I don't see it as that powerful. Cause it's me, it's like. It's just that. Yeah. Like, the way I post a video, how I post a video, why I post it like this, it, like, for me, but those are the things that help me get viral clips, help me get big guests, all of that, right? Right. Whereas though somebody else, they want to, they want, they they see a spot, they want to do it, but they don't even understand. The back end. They don't the even have a clue. Sleepless <laughs> nights, like, the sacrifices, get, no? Like, it's like, even something small as you come in like, oh, you did your research, this is the first time. And for me, I'm like, huh? Like, that don't even make sense. Like, really? It, like, why wouldn't I? Like, that's just... It is clockwork. It comes with the territory. Wow. Even if it's thirty minutes, is you have to know who you're talking to. Like, it's, it's, it's just, that's why you need to start a podcast training program because a lot of podcasts, I'm telling you, don't know to do that. So the fact that you saying I know to do that just off the top of my head, they ain't go through the proper training. So mm. that's something I feel like when you start it, if you start it, that need to be like in module one, researching your guests and knowing like 15, 20, 30. Something, Something. God damn, minutes. like Google, nigga. Like, like, yeah. Like, just who am I talking to? Who is like just, maybe because I'm I'm a curious person though. Cause like even with you, I'm not, I'm be I'm gonna be real. I'm like, okay, Cassandra. Okay. She do crafting. She looks at Instagram. I'm curious why she got so many followers. I don't trust it. I, I don't trust it. Really? So, no. So I go to YouTube. And I'm like, oh. This shit is real. Oh, I said, okay. I said, I said, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, why does she got so many views on talking about how to... I'm like... And I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Hold on, hold on. That could be fake. I go to comments. Niggas is talking. I'm like, all right. <laughs> am, I, am I lying? I'm not telling no lie. I'm giving you really? real... Really? But that's because I'm just curious, though. Right, like, right, That's right. why I do interviews. I'm, I'm really just... I'd be like, yo, why? Why? I don't understand. I don't right. believe it. You, you know thought what I'm they were about followers. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like you do crafting. I'm like, I never seen nobody. Oh, <laughs> wow. And that's crazy because everybody say that, oh, you a crafter. They don't even know we get to the bag over here in this industry. Like, don't don't underestimate the crafters now. Damn, son. <laughs> this is dope. 